Hey everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Allie and today we're going to be talking about the myths surrounding the hymen. So I know for me personally when I was growing up, I heard so many myths about the hymen and quite frankly like really scary language around it and also just a lot of misinformation and it caused me to you know think for a really long time that sex was really painful or that you know you're gonna bleed a lot during sex or during your first time having sex if your hymen breaks um, and it's something that breaks and it happens to everyone uh, and that could not be farther from the truth. Uh, so today I wanted to go over some myths about the hymen. Primarily I am using information from Emily Nagoski's book, Come As You Are. Uh, she cites a lot of different medical research and covers a lot of the issues in the myths about the hymen, so I wanted to share that with you all today. And of course, if you're looking to learn more about sex desire, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. It has a lot of really great information, and it's something that everybody should know about and learn about and feel comfortable about. So starting off with the first myth about the hymen is that it breaks and it never reheals. Um, so that is not true. It does not break and it does not stay broken forever. If the hymen tears or bruises, it will heal like most things in the body. And the size of the hymen doesn't vary based off of someone who has had penetrative sex before and someone who hasn't. Also, hymens are different shapes and sizes on every single vulva owner. Also, when your hymen breaks, it doesn't usually bleed. So if you are someone who's super concerned about that, it's not something that's very common. Uh, it can happen for sure, but usually what you see blood with during your first time maybe having penetrative sex or even after that is due to lack of lubrication in the vagina and like tears. So don't just think that if you're bleeding during sex, um, your hymen broke. It could probably be many other issues and I highly, highly, highly recommend going to chatting with your gynecologist about that or your doctor because they will be able to help best assist you. But don't think that the first time you have sex is going to bleed. Um, if anything, make sure you have tons of lube and also lots of communication um, and you feel safe and comfortable uh, so you can have the most pleasant experience. As you have more penetrative experiences, your hymen will also change and will grow more flexible. Also, some women are born without hymens. It's not um, an evolutionary part of our body system, so it's actually just not necessary. You can consider it the same as like male nipples. Uh, it's just like an extra added bonus. So some people have them and some people don't. Some women's hymens disappear in adolescence, whereas other people have hymens that last past menopause. The hymen was not selected for um, evolutionary traits. So it kind of just exists to exist. It doesn't really perform or have a function for it. And a lot of times, you know, the hymen was used, especially in past history, against women to judge women and to, you know, slap labels on women that were very hurtful and harmful. But it actually has no reproductive or any other function in the body. It's simply just there. And yet we make up so many stories about the hymen. Um, and so that's why I wanted to make this video, just to kind of talk about what the hymen is, what it's used for, what it, it actually serves a purpose as to help clear up any questions or concerns that you might have about it. And of course, um, obviously go talk to your doctor if you're curious about this. Research it, learn a little bit more. Um, there's so much false information that goes around in movies and books and media uh, and like even just old tales about this that just simply aren't true. So I highly encourage you with anything that's going on for you sexually, um, if you are concerned about it, go ask someone about it, right? Learn, research, ask someone like a doctor or a sexual health specialist or someone who, um, you know, is going to give you the honest truth and, and talk to you about exactly what it is to help you with any anxieties or fears that may stem from any of your questions. So anyways, yeah, I hope this video helped provide um, some insights into the hymen and some myths about it and, and what it actually does. Uh, of course, please give us a follow on Instagram at CBO Wellness. We have tons of other information and content that we post on there more regularly. Um, as always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps our channel. Uh, share it with anybody who you think will find it useful and we'll see you for a future video soon.